Today we're going to show you how to use Gerber products to make this really cute train diaper cake. What you'll need to make this train are two packages of cloth diapers. I'm using the 10 count, although I won't use all of the diapers, but you can if you want to make your train a little bit bigger. I also have a four pack of our flannel blankets, a three pack of sleep and plays, and a package of our terry lined burp cloths. I also have some ribbon uh, to help you kind of put it all together. Okay, so you want to start your train by making the wheels. And you can see our completed wheels over here. You're going to take three cloth diapers and you want to lay them out flat and fold them into thirds. And then you're going to lay it out and you're going to take your ribbon. Uh, I went for about two feet worth of ribbon here so that I will have enough to tie everything together. And you just want to lay it out at the end here and then just start rolling. And you want to try to keep the tightness of your rolls the same for all three wheels or else they'll end up different sizes. So you roll one and then set it onto the next one and just keep rolling. All right, do the third one and you roll. And this makes up the inside of our wheels here. So then you can set that to the side and you want to take your flannel blankets and fold it in half and then kind of fold that into thirds. You want to end up with it being about the same width as the roll of diapers, so that way it covers the outside. And we'll place it with the bottom part here, down, and then roll. So pretty quick and easy. Okay, and you wanna end up with them a little more flush here than what I ended up with, but you can kinda scooch it around and make it flush. And then you just want your ribbon to stick out on either end. Um, I like to put it so that they're kind of in some sort of order, but really you can do whatever you want. It's your dream. Okay, and if you want, you can tape the bottom of these so that they stay together. Okay, there we are. Those are our wheels. Okay, so now that our wheels are done, we need to make the base that the top part of the train is going to sit on. So you'll take your flannel blanket and fold it in half again, and you'll take the last cloth diaper out of your first package there and fold it in thirds. And then you kind of want to do the same thing here, folding in thirds again, so that it ends up about the same width as our wheels. And then you're just going to place that in the middle. I left a little thing over here, so you can kind of hide the diaper in there. And you just kind of want to fold it in half and then tuck in. So pretty quick and easy. And you want to end up with it, might take you a couple tries because you want to end up with it about the same length here. And so you can kind of see if it's not perfect, what you can do is just take this extra little end here and tuck it in because you're going to be setting stuff on top. So it doesn't need to really be perfect the way it's folded. But that's roughly how we want it to end up. And that's your base. So now you're want, going to want to grab your burp cloths and your sleeping plates, as well as your second pack of cloth diapers. Okay, so now we're going to make the cab part of our train. And to do this, we're gonna need four of the cloth diapers and you're gonna wanna stack two together. And you're gonna need the two out of your four pack of terry lined burp cloths that have the same pattern. Um, and you're going to want to lay one out flat here so you can kind of gauge the size. And when you fold these, you want to fold them loosely into thirds so that they end up being the same width as your terry burp rag there. Then you'll fold it kind of into fourths. So bring two ends in to meet in the middle and then fold that in half again. And you wanna do this twice, so you'll have two sets of cloth diapers. And I put them together so that the wide part faces in opposite directions. It makes it a little bit more square. So once you've got that, you're going to stand them on their tall end, and you're going to wrap your first burp rag 
around. You want to kind of get that as snug as you can here. Okay, and then you'll bring your second one and you're going to set it so that your seam is in the middle. Kind of try to tuck your ends in here and then wrap up and over. And for this one, I do like to use a little bit of tape. Just makes it a little easier. So you put a piece of tape. Alright, and then I know your ends aren't very pretty, so you'll just kind of want to tuck them in a little bit. Kind of square it off, make it look a little nicer. There, that one ended up pretty good. And then I set this on this way, and I like to keep the seam on the inside here. So that way it'll be hidden by the main part of our train here. Now for the barrel part of the train, you're going to take your sleeping place and when they're packaged they're kind of folded into thirds and the arms are all taped together which is perfect because you're going to leave that out and you're going to start with your feet and just kind of roll until you have it all together. Just kind of line it up nicely here and we'll go ahead and set that in place. Now, if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can take some more of your cloth diapers and or and or <laughs> one of your uh, four Terry Burke claws. I really only need three, so we'll add in a Terry Burke claw and a cloth diaper into the middle here. Start with your feet, and we'll just roll it right up. So now it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks a little better. All right, so slide that all together. And now we're going to take our ribbon here. And if you're doing a train for a girl, you might wanna cut your ribbon a little bit longer so that you can do bows. I like to just do little knots so that way everything's nice and secure. And you can do the ribbon really two ways. You can either run it through the middle of your diapers when you roll them up, or you can wait until you get to this step and do like we did on the train we showed you at the beginning of the video and run it underneath so that it holds down this flap. Or if you wanna just tape that flap in, then you don't have to worry about it. And you can do it this way. Um, now at this point you can either Cut these or uh, leave them, it's up to you. But in order to hide the knot, I just spin the ribbon until it ends up in the middle of the diaper there. So that way you can't see the knot. Okay, the last one up here. I wasn't thinking when I cut these, I should cut one a little bit longer so that we could make a bow. But you could do the same thing with this one. Um, you can just do a knot if you'd like. And then just spin until it ends up inside your wheel. And then just kind of smush so that everything stays kind of square here. All right, okay, so now we're going to put the finishing touches here on our train. We're going to do a smokestack, and you can see I've stuck a little bit of tool here into the end uh, to kind of look like the light coming out of the end of the, 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 end of the train there. Um, I'm going to just take the tool and just kind of fold it up, however, and you can set it into your folded in half long ways for a brag. And then just roll. And then you'll want a piece of ribbon. It's going to help hold it all together. Now I'm going to tie a bow, but if you don't want a bow on your train, you can take some double stick tape and just tape down the ends of the ribbon so it just kind of goes around it nicely. 
Either way. Alright, so now I've got a little bow here, and then you can just set it there. Um, if you want to attach it, you can use a little ball of tape or, there again, just some double stick tape underneath. And there you have it. Our diaper cake train.